What's up guys? So uh, we are doing a cold brew today. So we've got our brand new 20 cold brew system from Alternative Brewing. Cost about $70 in total. If you want to start doing cold brew at the markets and start doing some espresso martini mix. I haven't used it before. I've used other cold drips, but we're going to go through it step by step and see how it works. Cool. What have we got? Decanter with lid. Paper filters, uh, polystyrene filters. It's our brewing bucket. So we'll put all of our coffee and water into the brew bucket. Handle, lid, and instructions. Cool, let's go. So to start with, we need 340 grams of coarsely ground coffee. Normally we'd use the, the Casa grounds from Genovese. They're good for drip filters, stove tops, plunders, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm down to about 200 grams of this one, so we're going to grind some out of the grinder and just try and match it up uh, with the right amount of coarseness. Cool, so I'm pretty happy with this uh, consistency or particle size in here. I've adjusted the grind on the coffee grinder. It's a lot coarser now, so now I'm going to measure out some coffee beans. I'm going to weigh them. I'm going to get that 340 grams, throw them in the grinder, grind it all up and throw it into, into the toddy and make some cold drip. Cool, so we've got 200 grams there. Get in there. I can't even tell you the last time that I even had a cold drip, so I'm pretty keen to see how this turns out and how it tastes. Cold drip's supposed to have a bit less of a bitterness to it, it's supposed to be really smooth and remove all that harshness that can come with coffee sometimes. Not if you make it right, keen to see how it tastes. Cool. Good. Step one, fill. First, insert the stopper into the outside bottom of the brewing container. I can do that. Dampen the filter and insert it into the bottom of the brewing container is in we're just going to make sure that's in its little recess it looks good so we're going to add one cup of water into the bottom of the toddy brewing container and six ounces of coffee which is 170 grams i kind of wish that i had measured out two 170 grams instead of all 340 at once but live and learn so we're adding about 200 mils 250 mils of water half the amount of coffee so we're going to scoop it in like a pleb. Cool, so we've added the water. We've added half the amount of coffee that we ground up. Don't get any flies in there. So the next step that we're going to do is add another 710 mils of water to the coffee grounds. It says to pour in a circular motion. Um, let's see how it goes. Hopefully I don't mess that part up. I'm just trying to cover all those coffee grounds with water at the moment so there's nothing sitting on top. So first round of coffee and water is inside the cold brew kit. We now have to wait five minutes and then once that five minutes has passed we're going to pour in the rest of the coffee grounds and then pour in the rest of the water and that'll be just about it. We've got a 12 to 24 hour brew time so it's like uh, three in the afternoon. I'll probably pull this off around lunchtime tomorrow, so that'll be about 21 hours. Cool, so we've got our other 140 grams of coffee. And we're gonna pour that slowly and evenly over the top of the coffee grounds. And this mix is gonna be a concentrate. So once we're finished, it'll either be one part coffee to three parts water or one part coffee to two parts water. The last thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna get a spoon and we're just gonna push the top of those coffee grounds in Make sure that they're all submerged in water. Cool, almost done, almost ready. And we're just pushing all that coffee that's sitting on top down underneath so it's been fully submerged in water. Oh no. Guys, oh fuck. Fuck. <laughs> that's how you don't do a cold brew. That's bad. As you saw, I might, have, I might have messed up just a little bit. The porter filter started floating. So that's a, that's a note to really push that porter filter in when you're doing your cold brew. 
I'm going to do something naughty. I'm just going to try and push it back down there in the toddy, which is not food safe and it's not good. Um, but yeah, it's what you have to do sometimes, you know. So yeah, we're going to push that porter filter back down. It will mess up having coffee grounds down at the bottom there, but otherwise we waste that whole whole container of coffee, and I don't want to do that. This is just a trial anyway, so live and learn, I guess. Failure, failure is a uh, a great teacher. Oh, there are so many coffee grounds in there. I guess I won't be serving this coffee at the markets. It's going to be a lot of cold brew just for Jimmy. So after I shove my big greasy mitt in there, it looks all right. The porter filter hasn't floated up again. We're going to put the lid on and then we've got 12 to 24 hours before that bad boy is ready. Biggest takeaway from making that cold brew is make sure that porter filter is in really tight guys. Otherwise it'll all float away like it did with me. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the extraction too much. I don't know what's going to happen. It'll just mean once it's actually finished brewing, I'll just get a tea strainer or a filter and just make sure there's no coffee grinds coming out. Uh, the actual extraction process should still be fine and we'll see how it tastes and hopefully it tastes good. It should. It's cold brew, right? And if not, I'm going to blame Toddy, not me. Cool. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. All right, our cold brew has been there for about 21 to 22 hours at the moment. So we're gonna pull the stopper out, uh, let it flow into that decanter, and then we're gonna filter out if there's any coffee grinds in there, and then we'll do some taste testing. Oh man, that smells good. Cold drip is slowly filtering into the decanter there, so it's probably take about 10 or 20 minutes. So we'll let all that filter through and then we'll be able to do some taste testing. We're almost done with extraction. It's taken about probably close to two hours. So it's a little bit longer than I was expecting, uh, but we're almost there. So In review of our cold brew episode, I'd probably give it about a 6 out of 10. We had the, the porter filter issue and also I probably went a little bit too fine with the grind there. Since that batch I've made another cold brew, I went a little bit coarser with the grind. So that first, that trial bucket that I did turned out a little bit earthy, it was probably a little bit over extracted. So since then I've done another batch. I went a bit coarser with the grind and the cold brew turned out much better. It didn't take two hours to filter through, it took about half hour to 45 minutes, somewhere around there. And the, uh, the flavour profile on it was a lot less earthy, really really smooth. Hope you've enjoyed this episode guys, if you could hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. Uh, we've got more coffee trailer content coming out weekly, so I'll see you soon. Bye!